In this module, we're going to explore financial statement analysis. So when we do this course in accounting, and this is what I've delivered here is a very typical introductory financial accounting course. Well, I find that students can get uh, very siloed in their thing. They can go, okay, I'm going to learn about receivables now and just like look at receivables and study receivables. And then, okay, now I'm going to learn about inventory. So I'm just going to think about inventory. Oh, now it's bonds. Okay, I'm just going to think about bonds. And they try, and I understand why, right? You're learning this stuff. It can be fairly complicated. You just want to hone in and sort of isolate and separate everything. Well, good news and bad news. Uh, the bad news is, Financial statement analysis has us bringing that all together. The good news is it's a really important skill to be able to sort of bring all these disparate pieces together to understand how a company is really doing. This is one of the most important skills an accountant can have. They need to be able to look at an income statement, also called a P&L, a profit and loss statement, uh, a balance sheet, a uh, statement of cash flows, and just to understand, okay, how is this company actually performing? How is this company's financial position? And again, we've learned how to prepare all of these financial statements, but do we really understand what they're saying? So in this module, I'm going to uh, show you some of the tools that an accountant would use to evaluate the performance of a company to say, okay, this is how this company is doing, or this is how the company is positioned financially, or this is how the company is doing compared to its competitors. Uh, these are all types of skills you're going to want to have to really understand accounting, frankly. Um, I've been in meetings uh, where, you know, people are analyzing the company, an entrepreneur comes in and they're sort of uh, saying, oh, how am I doing? And a lot of the time, entrepreneurs can't read their own financial statements and understand what's happening. And if you are an entrepreneur, this is like one of the top skills you can have. Just to understand how to read a financial statement is so important. So I'm not going to say at the end of this module, you're going to know how to read a financial statement and just be wonderful at it. But what I will say is this is a good first step, and this is going to give you some of the common tools in analyzing and understanding financial statements. And that's one of the best skills skills an accountant can have, and even a non-accountant, even just a business person who wants to understand how their company is doing. Uh, for me, I mean, maybe I have a financial bias, but when I want to understand how a company is doing, I want to look at the financial statements to, to really understand uh, where the problems are and where the, the business is successful. So um, I hope you find this module useful. Uh, and let's get going. Uh, we're going to do horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, and ratio analysis during this module. And I think those are all useful tools that uh, every accountant should have. Okay, stay tuned.